We just finished building and test riding this Windsor Wellington 2.0. This is a bike that you would get from one of these online big stores. Um, they listed $800. That's just crazy. No one would ever pay $800 for this bike. You can get a much nicer bike for $800. The reality is they're selling them for about $300. Um, and um, it's you know, at 300, then it becomes a reasonable bike. So what you're looking at is the areas where they saved you money is the biggest one is these shifters. Um, most modern road bikes use a integrated shifter that is actually integrated into the brake lever here. Um, these are just little clamp on thumb shifters that sit up top. They're kind of silly looking, but they work just fine. Um, they got all the, they hit all the gears and they shift fine and, um, they're, they work, so that's all, all you care about at this point. And this is uh, really designed to be your first bike to get into the sport without, without dropping a whole lot of cash. Um, the only other area where they kind of cheaped out on you is that they used a freewheel here instead of a cassette. Uh, it's just a different style of this gear cluster, and it uh, will make the rear wheel a little more prone to bent axles. But uh, other than that, it's... Uh, uh, it's pretty good. It works. So you've got a triple, so it's a three by seven. Uh, it's 21 speed. Yeah. And um, kind of nice little paint on it. Um, the only thing, if you're looking at one of these bikes um, that I remind my customers, unless you're doing all your own work on the bike, um, take into account uh, the cost of upkeep and um, building this bike. So for instance, this uh, guy probably saved a bunch of money up front by getting this bike for about $300. Um, and he would have spent more if he bought it from a bike shop, but the bike shop would have given him free tune-ups and would have built it for him. So here in this case, he spent 300 up front, 50 to build it, and then um, there'll be a break-in period uh, where bikes sort of settle in and and after about a month he's going to need another tune-up and that'll be another uh, 45 dollars so he'll have about 400 dollars in this bike before it uh before it's really good and ready to go